Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Something broke, so I'm, I think I'm missed a little bit of a story. Oh, I'm sorry. I will talk to some other people, and from the looks of it, uh, I it didn't record anyway. Been searching for Mr. Hyde. I don't know what I want from me. What else could I go? Data file. Last night, a scandalous incident took place in London. Second clue: Mr. Hyde carried an expensive cane, which. He used to beat uh, people up. That seems to be in a bad mood. Well, he's always in a bad mood if you only would know. Fourth clue, you need to gather more information. I'm missing a clue. What a clue. So you may want to travel place to place to find out a little bit more. These fabrics just came in this morning. Take a look. <clears throat> Excuse me, do you? Oh! Are you looking for something? No, it's not that. You know the pub on Cavendish Square? I was told that I need a passport to get in. Do you happen to know the password? Oh, is that so? All of the regulars know the password from for the pub. A friend of yours asked me to ask you. He said he forgot the password. <laughs> I won't speak ill of a gentleman. Who drinks during daylight? The password is to love brandy, is to know it. While you're here, would you take a look at my words? I'll be sure to look at them when I return. Thank you. And we never saw him again. Back to Cambridge Square, I think it was. In the game, data is being saved automatically. Good. Why does it sound like somebody punched somebody in the face? Oh, you're the one who forgot the password and couldn't get in earlier. No, I'm here because I know the password. And what is it? You know, brandy is to love it. You love brandy is to know it. Oh. <clears throat> is it right? You picked up some strange stuff. Think again, I'll give you one more chance. Oh, I love brandy, is to know it. Is it right? Yeah, that's the password. You can go in. Whew. Thank you. I didn't even think there would be a choice like that. Okay, so. Excuse me, have you seen a man named Mr. Hyde? I heard he caused a disturbance at the pub. I'm sorry, I just came from Edinburgh this morning, so I haven't heard anything about him. Edinburgh, have you come far? Then? It was a long, dull trip, so I'm quite tired. Please let me know if you heard anything about Mr. Hyde. Thank you. Here's my card. Hmm. Have you seen a man named Mr. Hyde? No, I have never heard a name before. Why are you looking for him? What on earth did, did he do? He trampled a young girl and caused the servants on the streets and at a pub as well, it seems. Did you say he trampled a young girl? Have a young child too, that is. What an inhumane monster. Such a man has to be hanged. What a pity that the death that the death penalty was abolished. Please calm yourself. Anyway, thank you. I hope that man, Mr. Hyde, to be caught soon. Well, hanging might be just too. I don't know. Harsh, severe, too much. We're we'll leaving the waitress for the end. Get that guy. 
Have you seen a horrifying... Shh! You are surrounded by so many evils. Oh, okay. Oh, here comes BS. Excuse me. The evil spirits are trying to possess you. You have scattered the ashes of a lamb horns around your house. I can see death. I'm sorry, but I'm looking for someone. Have you seen an unpleasant man named Mr. Hyde? No, I haven't. There's nothing more unpleasant than the dead who have come back to the world of the living. Goodbye. Nonsense. <laughs> You're, not, you're not talking to me. Welcome. I have never seen you around here before. But I did give you the correct password so you don't need to worry. I have a question. <laughs> How about a glass of absinthe since you're here? No, I'm afraid uh, now I is not a good time. Could you tell me what happened last night? Oh, you mean the blow that destroyed the barrels and caused the disturbance? Yes, about that. The man's name must be Mr. Hyde. Could you tell me where he went and what else he did? So that scoundrel's name was Hyde. I don't even like his name. Thinking about his... He makes me sh shudder. I would appreciate it if you could tell me more about the incident. I don't want to speak about him anymore. Go ask barmaid over there. She was. She saw what happened. I feel like I have bad luck if I say another word about that. So just that asshole. That's why I hired a private guard. You didn't do something bad to a lady, did you? Excuse me, I would like to know about the man that caused the mayhem here the last night. Oh, you mean that horrible man? I don't ever want to meet or even think about a person like that again. Can you tell me more about him? Hmm. I know that you don't want to, but please, even a little information will help. It was unpleasant, rude, and most disstable. <laughs> and that hideous laugh he threatened people. It's impossible to describe it properly. Could you please tell me more? He told me to follow him. Some street. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about him right now. Oh, I see, I understand. We must report it to the police as soon as possible. Have oh, a nice day. I think there was a police constable somewhere in Cavendish Square. I'll have to go and tell him. We need to go to Cavendish Square. Which is basically outside. To that so-called useless police. Excuse me, are you investigating what happened last night at the pub? What happened at the pub? I haven't heard anything. What happened? A man who goes by the name Mr. Hyde threatened both the bartender and the barmaids. He has been causing trouble all over London. Witnesses say that he hor he's a horrifying man. And I heard that he went into that alley. I need some evidence that may help us solve this case. Understood. I reported my superiors. I'll be conducting a search of the surrounding area. Thank you. I'll search at Ali as well. Meet Mr. Addison and Dr. Jekyll's hide friend, Dr. Lanyon. Hey. October 1885, Cavendish Square.
कोई मूवी देखो Empire. I'm not entirely sure. Want me to go back to the pub? I think so. Wait, the thing is fixed. Missing something. Oh, there it is. Dr. Lanyon. Dr. Lanyon might know something. We'll see about that. Oh, is it a guy? Dr. Lanyon. At home. Oh, Mr. Arison. It has been a while since we have had pleasure of company. How have you been? I'm doing well. You look well too. Thank you. Please come in. My master is at home. Oh, you're not the guy. Ah, that's more like it. Crazy looking human being. Ah, oh, Addison, welcome. It's been so long. Would you like a glass of wine? I have many different vintages. Oh no, thank you. I'll have a cup of tea instead. I used to stubborn as ever. Take a break from time to time. Don't forget that I'm a doctor. You listen to me. <laughs> I understand. I'll try from now on. Hospital. Let's be polite and ask about hospital first. So I was wondering, what is it? Four things at a hospital. Ah, no need to worry. I have patients. From all over England. Everything is going as well as it can be. It's gonna expect them. I'm glad to hear that. What do you just So, Dr. Lanyon. You know, I think we are Henry Jacko's two oldest friends. Isn't that so? <laughs> of course, it would be great if we were younger. Anyway, yes, we are indeed his oldest friends. Now that you mention him, I haven't seen Jekyll in a while. Besides being busy, you mean? I thought since you have similar interests, you would often meet for discussion or for an academic nature. We used to. But for several years now, he's been getting increasingly strange. Several years? I still think of him as a friend, but a man of science who believes in supernaturalism. What a puppy heart. Hmm. Calm down, Lion. I flew off the handle. I'm sorry. I didn't expect to hear such a thing about him, but I'm in no position to judge, and it's certainly most unexpected story. Could you give me a moment? I need some time to calm myself. Understood. Let's just snoop around and... Where's my tea? Okay, I made a circle around the room. Now let's talk. What are you looking at? Oh, that's them. It's a picture of us when we were young. Don't get upset just because of difference in opinions. It's easy for you to say that when you're not involved, I'm sorry, but the more I think about it, the angrier I get. What he did would have caused a rift even between Damon and Matthias. Then it seems like things can't get any worse between the two of you. Forget about Jekyll for a moment. Right, I have something to ask you. Is there anything else about him you find curious? 
Have you heard about the man that he's looking after? Edward Hyde? Edward Hyde? No, I'm afraid not. Hyde. Hyde. You don't have to strain yourself. September 1885, Cavendish Square. I just get kicked out. Let's go to Alley of the Check. Uh, Alley and check the door, Meister Hyde. Okay, if you want, we can. You mean the door he entered and went out the next day? Take out Mr. Addison kept watch on the door in the alley for days. Oh, that's just creepy. Imagine somebody just. Oh no. If he is Mr. Hyde, then I shall be Mr. Seek. It will be another long night. After a few days. Wow. You're really dedicated, aren't you? The sun is about to rise, but no luck so far. At least few days have been in vain. I guess today won't be any different. I should get some sleep. No, perhaps it might be different this time. Who knows? <sighs> Great. There you go. There he is. Definitely follow him. Hide is that far away? Ah, da, 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 da. Hmm. You talk to him. Excuse me, are you Mr. Edward Hyde? We missed you so much. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time on another episode where we're going to be looking at more on the Mr. Hyde. Don't really be stupid, I beat you, fair Rob. Bye bye.